And we're joined by Cameron Noonan, a transportation planner at the City of Kelowna. And there's something new. We've been following the progress of these scooters and bikes, and now here they are. Helmets provided. So just walk us through how these got here. Last year, we partnered with Interior Health to monitor uh, injuries on e-scooters over the summer. And shared helmets were a recommendation that came out of that study. So you made it a requirement. If anyone wants to operate a company renting scooters or bikes, you got to make a helmet part of the package. Absolutely, yeah. W were you worried at all that they just simply wouldn't be able to do that? Um, well, we made it a clear uh, part of our permit requirements and we were happy to see that companies were interested in, in offering that service. So not all, we've seen a, a few of the players in this field sort of shaken out of it, but there's, there's two, there's Spin and Lime that are still in the game? Yeah, absolutely. The city is happy to be partnering with Spin and Lime to be offering these new transportation options to our residents. What do you think about having a, a helmet you can put on while you rent it? I think it's a great idea. You don't mind putting that on? No, it protects my head. I typically don't wear a helmet, but if there's one available, I'll put one on. Such interesting technology with these, and, and you were saying prior to the interview that that the technology to the that, that allows them to kind of be disabled if they try to ride on the sidewalk has been enhanced. Tell me about that. Yeah, absolutely. So the vehicles are using GP, a combination of GPS, vibration sensors, and now Spin has introduced a front-facing camera uh, on the vehicle, uh, which uses AI essentially uh, to tell if it's being ridden on the sidewalk. It'll start beeping at you within a couple seconds, uh, reminding you to get off the sidewalk. If you keep going, eventually it will shut off the engine and you'll lose all of the electric power. The city's aspirations are that these become a serious choice for real transportation, not a novelty, not entertainment. What do, what do the numbers tell you in terms of where you are in that effort? Yeah, we know uh, last summer that 30% of scooter trips replaced driving, um, and we know that roughly 60% uh, of trips were made for, call it a transportation purpose, compared to something like leisure or just for fun. Um, that's our starting point, and we're hopeful that we can build on that uh, and start to make this more of an everyday transportation option as we go forward.